welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to make a simple video on how to cut flare dress okay now this flare dress is actually very simple and it's just a very it's very simple and you can sew this within five minutes guys you can achieve this dress within five minutes and it's very comfortable especially for pregnant women okay so this is the kind of dress that they really love so much because of how free it is and how easy it is to rock okay so what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurement bust measurement waist hip and our gown length our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 plus 1 inch we have 8 our bust is 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 i have 10.5 our waist is 28 28 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 9.5 our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 i have 11 our gown length is 33 plus 2 we have 35 inches now in order for us to achieve our play dress we are going to be cutting this making use of our triangular in order for us to achieve this flare dress, we are going to be making use of our triangle flare, which is also known as half flare. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut your facing for a dress and how to use facing to hem the neckline of the dress. So I hope you find this video very educative. Feel free to drop any of your questions in the course of this video in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. And you can also join us for training. I'm going to put down the details in the description box. Don't forget to visit us on our website. Visit our website, guys. We have fashion illustration topics. We discuss different fashion topics over there at our website, okay? And you can also join us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is City Designs. And also our Instagram is City Designs. So all the details are going to be in the description box below. So now... So I'm going to make use of freehand method to achieve this dress. Freehand method simply means cutting directly on the fabric. We are not going to make use of pattern drafting in this dress because what we want to achieve is a flay dress. And flay are usually achieved making use of freehand method. That is cutting directly on the fabric. So now let's move straight into the fabric. So guys, I'm making use of this African print. And African prints are available as a store. I hope you guys can see the design. It's actually very beautiful. So the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric into two. Folded our fabric into two. And this is what we have. You can see. Now you are going to go ahead and fold your fabric in a triangular shape. Because what we want to achieve is a plain dress. So you go ahead, take it this way, and then you fold it again this way. So guys, the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement. Now, you are going to start your measurement from where you can have your shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement is 8 inches. I can we have about 8 inches around this part your measurement cannot start from here because you don't have up to 8 inches so wherever your measurement starts from is when wherever your measurement starts from is where your length of the dress is going to start from so i have 8 inches around here so this is where we have our 8 inches so we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder to bust. This is our shoulder to bust. I'm just trying to like chalk it so that you guys can see it. When you are doing yours, you don't need to paint it this way. So our bust to waist, distance from bust to waist, we have 8 inches. 
waist to hip, we have 9 inches. Now, we'll go ahead and mark our measurement. Our shoulder measurement is 8 inches. We're going ahead to mark 8 inches. Our bust is 10.5. Now, note that the number of inches you add to your measurement determine how free your measurement is going to be. So if you want it to be very free, you can go ahead and add about 5 inches, you can add 3 inches, you can add 6 inches. It just depends on how free you want it to be. That is why I didn't add the measurement from the beginning because it depends on what you want to achieve. There is no like a standard measurement to be added to it, right? So our, our bust measurement is 10.5. This is 10.5. So I can go ahead and add about 5 inches. Note that any inches you start with is what you are going to run through. So if you start with 5 inches, you add your 5 inches all through. If you want 2 inches or 3 inches or 10 inches, it depends on how big you want it to be basically. But 10 inches is actually too much. So I will go ahead and add about 5 inches. So this is the extra I added. Our waist measurement is 9.5. I will go ahead and add my extra 5 inches. My hip measurement is 11 inches. I will go ahead and add my extra 5 inches. So this is what we are going to connect together. We are making use of this part. This is what we are going to connect together. This is our new measurement. Now, the next thing of your gown length from this point. You start the measurement of your gown length from this point. And our gown length is 35 inches. So we'll go ahead and place 35 inches this way. We go ahead and place 35 inches. So we go ahead and mark 35 inches for our gown length. Now I will go in with my arm o curve and connect my bust line to my shoulder line. Have. Now we also go ahead and mark our neckline. I'm going to make it of 3 inches for the wideness of my neckline and for the deepness I'm going to make it of 5 inches. So this is what we have basically. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. Once we are done with that, once we are done with that, this is what we have. So you can see how free and big it is because we added extra 5 inches to it. So we'll go ahead and set this aside. Now I'm going to use this to cut out our facing and I'm going to show you guys how to use your facing to end your neckline. So go ahead and fold any piece of fabric into four this way making sure that you have your closed edge at this part now i'll go ahead with my fabric place your neckline this way place your neckline this is your fabric place it this way don't forget that we have a closed edge this way I'll go in with my chalk and just chalk this out. So this is what we have for the neckline. Now, you will go ahead and determine how many inches you want to use for your facing. That is how big you want your facing to be. So I'm going to make it of three and a half inches. I'll mark three and half. I'll mark three and half. I'll mark three and half this way. I will go ahead and connect this together. 
so I'll go ahead and connect this together have then I'll go ahead and cut this out the neckline of our dress and this is the facing you can see let me set that aside you can see how it fits in to the neckline okay and basically you can make it of your facing to just end your neckline so this is what we have so I'll go ahead and so guys I've gone ahead to iron paper stage to uh, facing just to give it like this form of structure so what I'm going to do now is this is our neckline and this is our facing go ahead and place your facing this way and then you go ahead and stitch this all the way round after our circular and flat dress is going to have pockets what we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark I am using 10 and half inches by 9 inches for my pocket and we have four pieces of this so I'm going to show you guys how to fix in your pocket to it stitching it this way after stitching it you go ahead and notch it so that it can lay well so once you notch it I'm going to like tack it okay because I don't want the M so after stitching it this way you go ahead and notch it then it's going to lay this way so for this other part I'm going to go ahead and tack it down so that it can lay well and because I don't want like any steam showing around here so you can just tack that so what we do now is we are going to go ahead and mark where we want to fix in our pocket go ahead and mark where we want to fix in our pocket so uh shoulder to where we are going to fix in our pocket which is basically around the waistline is 17 inches it's 17 inches so i mark 17 inches now for the length of my pocket i want it to be about seven inches so this is where we have for our pocket i'll show that to where we usually fix in our pocket it's usually around the waist area which is 17 or 18 inches now from here the length of your pocket varies from seven to nine inches so you can make it of 7 inches, 8 inches or 9 inches depending on how big you want the pocket to be so now we are going to go ahead with one piece of our pocket and we we'll stitch it this way just go ahead and stitch it from this point where we marked to this other point so we we'll go ahead and stitch it stitch it on this other side and on the second piece one part you can see our neckline and our pocket so this is for one piece now for the second piece we also have our pocket now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and join our shoulders if you want for us to have a sleeve go ahead and fix in your sleeve but for me, I will go ahead and aim my arm hole because I want it to be sleeveless. Now, I will go ahead and stitch this part. When I get to where this pocket is, I will go ahead and stitch it this way. And I will come back to this point. Then I will stitch it all the way down. So basically, we are going to stitch it this way. Once you get to the pocket, you stitch it this way then you stitch it all the way down so once i'm done with that i will go ahead and m the lower part of my dress and i'll show you guys what it looks like you can go ahead and put on a belt on it this way just to give it some fitting around the waistline and this is what we have so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next month.